Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be talking about four really good cards that can help you uh, fight against Pepe because we already know Pepe is uh, the best deck of the format right now. There isn't a better deck. I mean, I think Magicians come to a close second, and even these cards can still help you combat against the Magician deck. Um, as well, even if you are playing Pepe or Magician, you can use these cards and probably win in the mirror match or have a very much easier mirror match. But let's get down to the cards. I'm going to be starting off with Dark Rebellion. XC Dragon, uh, rank 4 Dark Monster Dragon, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. Now those stats are going to be critical, but we'll talk about them a bit later. Um, its effect reads, you can detach two materials from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half of its current attack, and if it does, this card gains that lost attack. Now, there's a couple of reasons why Dark Rebellion is good on its own right. Um, the first thing is that it takes your opponent's strongest monster, or whatever monster is hurting you the most, and it half its attack. Mainly saying that Dark Rebellion can get over that threat just by attacking over it, but that's not half of why Dark Rebellion is good. There's this card that's you know seems to be only good for almost every given situation, Castell. Now you don't want to run out of Castells, and you don't want to use you know try to use Castell twice in one turn because I mean just read Castell, you'll find out the hard way. Um, what Dark Rebellion does is give you an out to set situation without having to use your Castell, and it also puts the pressure on the opponent because it's a 2500 attack on its own right, but once you have your opponent's strongest monster, quote unquote, it becomes even bigger than that, meaning that it, it can break any type of board. I've seen it gets a 3750 on average, so we're going to say just 3750. Um, Dark Rebellion becomes a genuine threat at that given time, being a 3750 monster that's a little bit under half of your opponent's life points, they more often than not have to deal with that threat and then that's when you can stale the threat that they deal with um dark rebellion dragon is just that good putting that type of pressure on their opponent but most importantly its stats just align up with these two cards that i'm going to be talking about the first one is eradicator epidemic virus now eradicator epidemic virus um has seen its big play inside of the dragon ruler format but it came back uh to give you guys a significant edge over uh pendulum cards I guess even spellbooks, because that's what I was going to say, but you know nobody really plays spellbooks anymore. Eradicator Epidemic Virus reads, Tribute 1 Dark Monster with 2,500 or more attack. Dark Rebellion fits those specific specifications perfectly. And declare one card type, spell or trap. Check your opponent's hand, all spell and trap cards they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card activation. And destroy all cards of that type. Eradicator is good. It's really good. The first thing I want to say is once your opponent sets up scales, they become spell cards. So when you erad uh, your Dark Rebellion Dragon that has already served this purpose and got it over your opponent's monster, not only are you adding more pressure into your opponent, you're getting rid of your opponent's scales. There's not really too many cards that can wipe your opponent's scales and then check your opponent's hand and wipe all spells from there on out. Now that's where really Eradicator Epidemic Virus shines is because it really just can outright win you the game on its own right. Just because it knocks out your opponent's two spells and most decks that play, you know, pendulums tend to play, I don't know, a good 20 plus monsters and the rest spells and maybe two traps. Eradicator Epidemic Virus really puts the pressure on our opponent, rids their spell cards, rids their pendulum scales, and then allows you to probably even just steamroll from there. Not really much else your opponent can do, especially when the Dark Rebellion has already paid its cost. Being able to tribute it off and, you know, just disrupt your opponent, whatever they're trying to do, it's pretty good. Another great thing about Erad is that it's not only good in the Pepe matchup, it's good in very back row heavy decks. Um, I played a, quite a few back row heavy decks where I've erratted a Dark Rebellion, declared traps, and then they lost from there because more often than not, a lot of back row heavy decks rely on their traps. So once you get rid of them, not really much else you can do. I really like this card. Dark Rebellion seems to fit the bill, being a 2500 attack monster right off the bat, unlike King of Fairwinds and uh, other Dark Exceed monsters that I can't think of right now. Next will be Deck Devastation Virus. Now, Deck Devastation Virus has already been made somewhat popular. And the reasoning behind it is because a lot of players got smart, um, especially Pepe players, and realized that their King of Feral Earth, Sir King of the Feral Imps, my apologies, was already a free card. So being able to tribute off your free card, um, destroy cards on your opponent's side of the field, and then check their hand and destroy cards in your opponent's hand was pretty good. Deck Devastation reads Tribute 1 Dark Monster with 2,000 or more attack. Check your opponent's hand and all monsters they control and all cards they draw until the third turn after this up uh, after this card activation, excuse me, and destroy all monsters with 1,500 or more attack. Now, if you look at the Pepe deck, 
almost every single one of their monsters are 1500 or less attack i apologies deck devastation does read 1500 less uh, attack their plush fires their gigabytes their their mirrors uh their their perform age clowns their their hat trickers just about everything in the deck is under 1500 attack and while putting um Damage juggler to the graveyard isn't the best of things. It's not the worst of things. Sometimes they actually want that damage juggler in hand to prevent them from taking damage. You just deck debbie them, you know, just rid all that, and then you can go for game. Your opponent really can't do much about it. Um, deck devastation has the chance to ruin um, an opponent's entire strategy just outright. But the thing that I don't like de about deck devastation virus is that it's a little less versatile than Erad. Erad hits, you know, it, more often than not, as long as you call it right. It completely disrupts the opponent every single time. Whereas deck devastation, if the monsters that you were hitting are just on field, it could be a bad thing because plush fire will be able to activate and resolve its effect. Um, in hand, yeah, you, you're probably gonna wreck your opponent. It's outright could hand you the game. That's the upside about deck devastation. I think another upside is that you do have more targets inside of King of Pharaoh Wimps. Uh, Dark Rebellion is still a target, but you know, there, there's so many more targets with Deck Devastation Virus. Um, it's just a great card overall, and I think that a lot of people should be playing it to help combat them with their Pepe match, but at least try it out. Um, another card I want to talk about was really popular with Burning Abyss, and it's still really good. I mean, at the best, it can be an Erat target, and at the worst, it's just a Deck Devastation target. Down, Downer Magician, I call it Down Syndrome Magician. Now, Down Syndrome Magician requires two level four spellcaster type monsters. I've never used two level four spellcaster type monsters to summon down at Magician. But its effect reads, during your main phase two, you can also exceed summon this card by using a rank three or lower exceed monster you control as exceed material. Exceed monsters attached to it also become attached to Down Syndrome Magician. This card gains 200 attack for each XC material monster, XC material attached to it. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage to your opponent. If this card attacked or was attacked, after damage calculation, detach one XC material monster, or one XC material from this card. I don't know why I keep calling them XC material monster. Downer Magician with two materials becomes 2500 attack, allowing you to erat it. Without any materials, it's still 2100 attack, allowing you to deck devastation virus. Now, the reason why I say that this is a good card is because a lot of players um, play decks that allow them to go into rank 3 and rank 4 plays. There's a lot of decks that allow them to do that. So you always want to have an Eradicator or Deck Devastation target if you are main boarding them. And Downer, Downer, <laughs> I'm sorry, Down Syndrome Magician provides that bridge. I keep getting confused with what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it regularly. I'm going to call it what I always call it. But, um... It really provides that bridge. Furthermore, Downer Magician or Down Syndrome Magician is also a monster that does inflict piercing damage and its effect isn't that bad overall if you never so happen to have deck devastation. I've actually been playing around with playing cards, I don't know, like Mind Control if, you know, Rank 3's ever came back, and then just taking the monster, making a Downer Magician, and then erratting or deck devastation. If that ever comes into fruition, your opponent probably lost because they lost at least one monster. And then furthermore from the deck Debbie, oh man. Man, it's too much not let's not talk about that um i think that these cards are really good um as far as playability it really depends on it, it's really a meta call for you guys if you feel feeling confident about these cards feeling really confident you can main board them and probably sneak away a lot of games just because of their effects um at the very worst they're very good sideboard options upon, upon which you see from your opponent uh sideboarding at least one copy of deck devastation virus never hurt anybody and it can also disrupt the opponent um i've actually in, in cosmo decks i've seen people side deck eradicators and deck devastations because it really Really does help with the Pepe matchup. A lot of other decks such as DDD will side these because once again it really does help with the Pepe matchup. Thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy. Hey guys, if you guys would like to purchase the cheapest cards online from your favorite Yugi tuber, you can click on this big huge video below, or you can also click in the description. There's a link that will take you right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.